Hello everybody and welcome back to Small Land. My name is Kaduni and today we are going to be continuing our building projects. First let me start off by saying thank you so much to all the new faces and new chats and comments that I've been getting. New faces over on Twitch here and there. All the new subscribers to the channel. You guys are awesome. We are definitely pushing on our road to hopefully maybe reaching that magical thousand number someday. Uh, I really hope so, but again, I wanted to start this video off by saying thank you so much to all the new people who are coming out and subscribing and hitting the like button and commenting down below. You guys are awesome. I love you guys very, very much. Uh, so today, um, so this is recorded After Effects, so I already know what happened. Um, I streamed this live on Twitch, um, so definitely um, if you want to see me do some of these live builds, uh, you can go over to my Twitch channel. Link is down in the description below, and I'll put a little card up here so you can see that link. It's twitch.tv forward slash kaduni. Come over and give me some love when I am live. Um, I do play a lot of small land over there because I am obsessed with this game and some other games every now and then that maybe not do so well on my channel but hopefully you'll check those out as well when I do play some other games uh, all right today's build um, that we did uh, is going to be a pathway I thought when I was walking around the world um, that it would be fun to do some interconnecting pathways not only between the objects in the world like where Hearn is and the elder cave and stuff like that but um, also over uh, to the things that we built, like the Owl Pavilion and the bridge. Um, so the goal was to set out and start setting down a pathway um, made of stone, because I thought it'd be fun to actually play with some of the stone material today. Um, so as we go along, you're going to see how that turned out and uh, what craziness we got up to. And some of the, you know, things that, that we ran, the problems that we ran into with it, using the materials where, you know, certain things like where we could build and where we couldn't build and things like that. And some of the, the solutions that we had to come up with to get past that. So without further ado, we're going to jump ahead and I'm going to show you the build. Um, there will be some time lapse in here because if I were to put this all in one video, it would be uh, <laughs> a couple hours long. And I know you guys don't want to sit through a couple hour video. So we're going to try to shorten this up as much as possible. So I hope you enjoy. And again, hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos and see what other crazy things uh, I get up to because trust me, the ideas going on in this head can be pretty insane sometimes. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's check out how it turned out this is the path leading down uh, I just want to kind of I'm gonna be walking a lot, up and down it a lot because I kind of want to see um, where I may want to add some little accentuations here and there um, so let's bring this out and see if I can bring this up a little bit uh, I've been working with turning magnet off a little bit and being a little bit more free with my building uh, but you have to be careful when you do this because uh, sometimes you'll see some clipping in there that you may, not, may, may not necessarily want to have in your builds. Uh, so yeah, see now we're getting to the point to where I can't do that because building is not allowed here. What is it clipping? Is it the leaf that it's like? Or is it because we're too close to him? How far over do we have to be? So we may actually have to curve the path around because it seems like they have pr uh, protective building all around the main areas. So what we'll do is we will turn this a little bit. Uh, we're going to turn uh, magneting off and see where we can actually get this to go without... So it looks like the berry's right about there. Can we bring that up a little bit? Let's actually take this out. Maybe we'll do a tighter turn here. Uh, like that and then we can kind of come down the path a little bit and like I said if I don't like some of this we'll change it as we go what I do like about the stones is that you can really get it to mesh pretty well uh, without worrying about clipping too much all right, so what we're doing from here, uh, we're kind of just kind of putting the pieces together as I'm going along here. Um, it take a lot of back and forth trying to figure out what would look right. Like I'm doing a little, some of the natural staircasing here, um, but eventually I went back and, and decided that it didn't really look all that great, even though your character can kind of walk up and down it. 
Um, it was a fun idea, but and something I may explore in the future, but not necessarily something that I liked for this pathway. We eventually go back and replace most of that with staircasing, and you'll see that a little bit later on. Um, but kind of a cool idea that maybe you can explore in your own builds on how you can actually use the clipping to your effect uh, to get some kind of cool natural staircases uh, um, going down using just the foundations or uh, flooring in this case. Um, so yeah, a lot of this back and forth, and you'll see me kind of walk up and down the path after this. Get about it, because we do have these curved pieces. What if we tried using these here? Would that make a difference? Keep it more solid path. Like if we were to kind of We'll see how much it'll let us get away with. Uh, see if we can't snap that. Almost. Almost. There we go. And then do a straight piece here to kind of connect. Yeah. And then curve this one. That makes it actually look a little bit better. We will take whatever we can get. Yeah, I actually like that a lot better. So it kind of just curves around and it looks, a l yeah, much, much better. All right, uh, let's see if we can add a foundation here to kind of step these down a little bit. Just allow us to build in between here. Yeah, now is that too steep? Probably too steep, though. Ah, oh, just a little bit too steep. Actually, uh, I'm going to snap off on here. come from this side? Does that make more sense? Should be no reason why that doesn't snap. Okay, now drop some stairs down from there. It's a little curvy path, but at least it's a little bit easier on the eyes than what we were trying to do. That should allow us to have nice connection. Do we want to go one more over? We gotta go get more materials from here. And 
we should be able to come right down the path with more stairs. Okay, so from here, it's just a, a lot more uh, placing object down as we kind of make our way down the path. Uh, deleting things that we don't like, uh, figuring out more how to utilize the staircases uh, and things like that. Uh, there was a lot of this during the stream, uh, trying to um, kind of uh, thread through the objects that already exist. Like you see the torches on the side there, uh, trying to figure out how to get through the pathway. I think that was one of our major limitations while doing this build is trying to figure out how to get the pathway to interact with the, the world that already exists. And so that's how we end up with more like curves in our path. So whether you, you might want to be a little more straight, unfortunately we had to put some curves in just to get it to link up nicely uh, and continue down, uh, down the path so that we could uh, have something that, you know, didn't look too bad. Uh, and you'll see again, more of the problems that come in uh, as we kind of continue down here, but we come up with some solutions for it. I wonder how much material I'm actually going to use up after, as I get done, get like towards like where the base is. Like, how many hours of grinding <laughs> did I, will it take me to accomplish what I want to do? Okay, uh, where's our barrier here? Can we? I'd like to be able to come off here with stairs if it'll let me. Yeah, to kind of indicate we can go down this way. And then maybe... If we can get away with it, just a little bit... Of a pathway like this. More towards the cave. And I don't think we can go much further than that. If we can get one more sneaky foundation here, I think I'll be happy with that. Yeah, and then we're, we're at the bear, the limit there. Uh, although I wish that was a little bit lower, so let me see if I can't do that. I want to be able to technically be able to walk up that, but I may not be able to get away with that. Not just a little bit. I wish I wish they would let us build stairs into the ground for things like this because I know dang well it's not gonna let me do it I mean we can give it a go yeah see it's red just so we can come down a little bit I know it clips through the ground but I mean let us have it let us have it come on um hmm ah oh, we can do it there can we do one more? Can I get that to connect to that one? Oh, see, no, it did work on that one. Why does it work there and it won't let you do it, do it the other way? That's really weird. And then can I kind of just like do a tricky little foundation in like? Uh, I might just leave that. That's fine. Really, I don't say that's okay. Just want a little small path to indicate that you can walk this way. Alright, um... And snap is on. Can I actually maybe trick this to go in a little bit more? I don't think we necessarily need that sharp of a turn here. Actually, if it's let me do it over there, I might see if I how many often I can get away with this. Oh yeah, see it will. I wonder why it only does it on certain certain portions. Because really, this allows you to kind of reset where you want the foundations at. 
because you can kind of just trick a path into this. If I turn off snapping, I kind of want it to go at that angle if possible. How far do I need to come out? I have to go from here. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> this is fun. It may not be the most exciting thing, but it's it's fun. I love building things like this. God, it really doesn't take long to get far, does it? So just for fun, do we have... Why would you like a little stone arch here? Kind of indicate the start. Okay, turn off snapping. Yeah, something like that. Um, I could have just done like a stone arch or a wood arch or a stone door. Yeah. I don't think that would count as... Well, maybe it does. Mm, make it a little more even, though. Oh. <laughs> uh, and the only thing I wanted to destroy was the only thing left standing. <laughs> Uh, maybe you don't like. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's necessary that if I like the door there. I don't mind these though. Just an indicator that this is kind of where we want to start. That this is the start of the path. So maybe we put the torches on the inside. I can deal with that. <laughs> this is so crazy, he's stupid. <laughs> but it works. Um, I mean, I want to do some, like I said, I want to figure out some things that we can do to make it kind of more fun. But right now, I want to get the basic path built. This really started as a question of whether, like, not should we do it, rather can we do this? <laughs> and the answer looks like it's going to be a resounding yes. <laughs> Ah, uh, we're almost there. <laughs> mm, is that gonna be too high? Uh, what I may do is actually start building from here. 
So we don't have to be perfect. Does that flow well over it? It does. do it sometimes but not other times and I do this Not that steep. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see. Let's use... There we go. Perfect. Nice little path straight to the Alpha Pavilion. I love it. So now we have a nice little path all the way from the very start of the game to our first build. Uh, I think if we want to keep with I don't know if we're going to stick with these, but just so we can kind of indicate. Kind of follows it a little bit, but this one. Mm. 
Uh, I may change that. I'm gonna leave these up just so I remember what I was thinking here. And there we have it. So that was the part one of our pathway from the very beginning of the game all the way to our first build of the Al Pavilion. Now, we did much more on stream. And again, you can go over to twitch.tv forward slash Kaduni if you want to peek ahead um, to see what we did uh, from there. But we will be continuing the pathway along with some other really crazy ideas that I got along the way. Uh, you can go check those out over on Twitch. Uh, or you can wait uh, until I get these all edited down into nice bite-sized chunks uh, for you guys to follow along. So in the next video, we'll be continuing the pathway to not only bridge number one, but bridge number two, which you'll get to see as well. Uh, as well as something else that will probably be in the part after that. It really depends on how long these videos end up being. I try to keep them anywhere between 30 and 45 minutes, just enough for you to sit down and, and watch. And I, I apologize for all the time lapse in this one, but again, I wanted to to show you everything, uh, but not let have this video sit here for a whole hour of you just watching me place <laughs> uh, stone pathways all the way down. And uh, again, I'll mention it. The reason why we chose to use the stone pathways is not only does it kind of look cool uh, mixing with the surroundings, but it's also a material that does not have uh, any damage from weather effects as well. Uh, pretty sturdy and, and lasts, and you don't have to worry about going back and repair it. So you can just put it down and basically set it and forget it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I have a couple more coming up uh, in the next couple days of our continuation of this. Uh, so please like and subscribe so you can see when those videos come out. And again, a big thank you to all the new members today. You guys are awesome. Uh, thanks for everybody who's been, again, commenting, leaving likes on the video, uh, and just joining the community in general. I hope I get to interact with you guys in chat and maybe see you guys over on the Twitch side when I am live and messing around in Small Land and other games. But other than that, I'm going to cut this down because we're already running a little bit over where I wanted to be with this next video. So I love each and every one of you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.